Hello and welcome to another heroic character video uh, slash guide. So what we're going to do today is the heroic level 100 monk. And the monk can be uh, several different races. So uh, Draken here, uh, which I've, I've never made one of these. Ixar and uh, human, I believe, is the other one here. Oh yeah, and Froglock. Froglocks can be uh, monks too. Where's human? And human. And uh, Tawani is a human monk. Ixar, I think, is probably the best uh, monk. So let's go ahead and make one here. So we're going to turn off the tutorial. We're going to go with Heroic 100. We're going to get random name. Come on. There we go. Uh, that will be our name. Looks like we're good to go. Uh, our stats doesn't really matter. Uh, this puts everything into agility, but it doesn't matter. It's all going to be maxed out once we uh, once we put on our heroic gear here. So, all right, we're here in uh, Shard's Landing. Let's get some of these windows. I'm not going to use any custom UI. I'm going to hit Alt W to get rid of this bar and a Alt D to get rid of that compass because I just don't like seeing them. Uh, we're not going to do the hero's journey, so there we go. All right. Uh, it gave us a cleric mercenary, so good there. Uh, first thing I need to do, uh, when you normally make a heroic character, you start with like 15,000 platinum. Uh, since I'm just literally deleting the same guy over and over again, I need to uh, summon in a banker so that I can get a little bit of money. Uh, so that my mercenary sticks around. All right. Uh, let's go and mount the mount right there. Just right click it. I don't have to keep mounting it though. Once you have it mounted, that'll just give you the uh, uh, mount best blessing beza. Uh, if you have more better mounts, you can mount those uh, for that different stat. All right. So here we go. Let's take a look at kind of what our weapons are. Uh, we got a 4 ratio, 4.3 ratio fist weapon, so this looks pretty decent. I believe my level 93 monk, uh, Tawani, has a 5 ratio, so kind of keep that in mind. Uh, let's see here, grandiose tunic. Uh, this armor is, you know, level 90 requirement armor, so it isn't exactly... Uh, top of the line here but let's go ahead and click everything to get the aas that we'll we will get from this this should give us like another 2000 hit points or so there we go kind of lagging there there we go expanding mind not really useful useful for us but uh might as well click everything we can, and there we go. All right, so first thing is first, uh, we're going to have to go through all the spells and all that stuff. That's going to take a little bit of time. So what I am going to do is I am going to clear all these bars. Uh, clear hot bar, yes. Yes. Uh it might be useful. I, I, I'm just, I'm going to kind of take the lessons learned from the other videos I've done on this and kind of do it a little, a little bit different, hopefully. All right. Uh, we're going to want another bar here. And let's kind of move some stuff around. So here's our player. I want to see my health like at all times. Uh, this is the target. So if I target her, this is my current target, right? And then this is the target's target window right here. So uh, what I'm targeting, that's the target's target, right? So pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. And extended target doesn't matter. Songs are fine. Okay. Let's uh, start going through these, right? So... Uh, monks don't have, uh, they don't have spells, but they do have, uh, combat abilities. So let's go ahead and open up that window. I can't remember the hockey for it. Uh, see your character and then 
here we go. Combat abilities is the window. Alt C. Right here, this one right here. Uh, so inside of here, we can see a list of uh, different abilities. If we sort it by level, let's kind of make this bigger so we can see this. We can kind of see like each of the different things. Uh, by remaining still and reflecting on your inner peace, you can refresh a portion of your endurance. So this is kind of like a uh, endurance regen, kind of out of combat kind of thing. Uh, so what we're going to do is look at the timer, right? So that's a timer five. And we'll just put it right there, seven breaths. All right. Uh, your hands blur and merge together, reality plumbing your uh, opponent multiple times. So this is a... This is probably going to be a spammable ability. I'm not 100% sure of the names on some of these. Uh, so we're just going to put that there. We're going to put it in a hotbar button here in a second. Actually, let's just go ahead and put it on the hotbar. I don't think I'm making macros in any of these videos. So we're just going to hit these numbers. Uh, greatly increase the amount of punishment you can take before death. All right, we're going to ignore that one because usually not as much. Um, so this is a this is going to be the, our one of our kind of a extra damage I call them burns kind of ability so while in a trance flank kicks will do greater damage so we're gonna put that right there this can be our burn bar this can be our rest bar and then if we need another bar we'll do that all right protection of the shade enhances your defensive skills allowing you to mend your wounds each successful dodge or parry so this is a very defensive one so we're gonna want another bar actually Open a new bar. We're going to put this on. This is going to be defensive abilities. So we're getting beaten to death. <laughs> this is, you know, we're going to click these, right? Uh, contra force discipline. So focus your energy to attempt to slow and weaken your opponent's attack. Anytime you're attacked, this discipline will last for a minute or until it absorbed 31,000. So this is, this one's kind of a defensive slash, ah, uh, like debuff. So it'll slow your opponent, uh, but it'll also absorb incoming damage. So it's kind of nice. Let's see here. This is a timer nine. So wait here, we got eight. Yeah, those two share. So timer nine, eight step pattern. This is a 30 second reuse. And attacks your target with target with three eagle strikes so we're gonna we're gonna want to hit that like every time it's up terror palm discipline is a timer three and it is a 22 minute reuse increases the damage done by all your attacks so that's another kind of like burn ish ability uh let's see here zyx fang infuses the power of the dragon striking them with uh, magical attacks, physical and magical attacks. That's a short duration. We're going to put that one over there. And reflex, uh, increase your chances to block incoming attacks. So this is defensive. We're going to put that one right there. Uh, let's see here. Echo. Okay, we're going to want one more bar <laughs> right here. So the way, I, the way these videos are, right, is I'm doing this as someone who has little to no information about what this is kind of like uh you know you just bought a heroic character and you're doing i do have background information on a monk up to 93 so i'm a little bit <laughs> i know some of these things what they do uh but some of the names are different so it's a little bit strange distracts your target and those near your target so this is our mez ability we're gonna put that right there Eye of the Storm adds 340 damage to all attacks in addition to boosting your damage for two minutes. So this is a timer 18. We have not used the timer 18 yet, so we're going to put that right there next to that. This is another kind of burn uh, ability. All right, so here is a step in the shadows, sh shaded step, uh, 18 seconds of dodge chance by 600. Eagle's Balance. Uh, this is a type 16. Doesn't look like we've used one there. This is a 20 minute reuse. Take the balance stance of the Eagle, adding extra attacks. So we're going to put that right there as a burn. And let's kind of let's do this. Uh, window, background, tent color, red. 
That is a terrible, <laughs> terrible color. Uh, tech, tent color. Oh wait, maybe I have to do, uh, it's like texture, right? There we go. And so this will be defensive. Let's make this one texture. And then we're going to tent it blue. And then uh, texture alpha faded or uh, tinted color green for uh, kind of regenerative. And then uh, let's see here alpha tinted color yellow for kind of utility. Hopefully that helps out. All right, Swift Reflexes. Quicken your reflexes, allowing you to block several attacks. So this is a defensive. This is a type 18, though. Uh, so we're going to not do that because we have I have a Storm already and uh, Eagle's Balance. Both are 18. So uh, I'm going to actually drop Shaded Step off my bar. I have the Storm is uh, offensive, and I kind of go more offensive. So I don't want to... I don't want to have to uh, worry about thinking about that. All right, so there's probably more in here, right? Seventh Wind. Sacrifices. So this is going to be regenerative type 13. Technique of the Crimson Fist. This triggers an effect that will lower your melee damage. Uh, but steal, steal endurance from your target. So this is... This has the same timer. This is going to be regenerative as Seventh Breaths, but uh, it might have some kind of benefit to us, right? And Seventh Win is a timer 13. We already put that on the bar. Rest, which is another 13. Uh, but that's kind of more situational when we're really low on endurance and uh, just doesn't matter too much. And I'm sure there's some other ones in here, but I don't think we're going to need them for right now. So now we're going to go into the AA ability. So hit V to open up your AA window here. We just put this over here. Uh, I'm not, I don't ever really put them on there, but it helps that way. All right. So we're going to go to can activate and go start in the class, right? Uh, go back here. Distance strike is our pull ability. So we're going to put that on. So I have an MMO mouse that has 12 buttons on it. So when I hit uh, numpad one, it'll do that. You can put it however you want over here. Uh, five point palm. Let's see here. This is a five minute reuse. Consuming 2% of your health to deal 61,000 damage. All right, this is going to be, I, I spam this on, on Tawani. So <laughs> let's go with that. Infusion of thunder. This is more of a burn. We're going to put that right there. This does, uh, Increases your base melee damage by 80%, raises the minimum damage your melee attacks by to be 85, and grants your melee attacks a chance with a 20% bonus to trigger Infusion of Thunderstruck 3, which uh, does 2800 damage. And uh, yeah, it tells you right there. Uh, so we don't have that one yet. Moving Mountains, the ability when activated, flings a keep creature that is two or three levels higher than you towards you. So it's another kind of like a pull ability, more of a positioning thing. Purify Body, this is kind of a cure. So we're going to put this in the utility section. Uh, Spire the Sensei, Sensei is a burn. It's one of the higher damage burns. We're going to put it over there. Uh... When activated, increases your combat prowess for a minute and 30 seconds. As a passive ability, this in ability increases your maximum endurance by 90 points and your maximum strength by 9 points grants you a chance with 100% bonus to trigger Sensei's Guard on yourself when struck in melee combat. Increases the chance your weapon will trigger by 28% and raises the minimum base damage your melee to be 100. Minimum damage your melee attacks by 37 Accuracy by 30. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. It's just like a phenomenal ability that you wanna, you're going to want to click. <laughs> so, All right. Swift Tail's Chant when empower, empowers all group members within a 100-foot radius, restoring 100 or 1,000 endurance and allowing them to absorb 2% of the melee damage as endurance. So 
Ah, uh, we don't have that one out yet. Well, we should have it, but we don't have. We didn't get auto granted, so that's kind of what happened there. Uh, Tonpo stance don't have that one yet, and uh, two finger wasp touch when activated deals target your damage. All right, so this is a three minute reuse, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw it on here as something we're just gonna hit during battle. Oh, uh, what it, what does it actually do? So. Increases the damage taken, so we're going to be auto-scaling uh, Tiger Claw and Flying Kick here in a second. Alright, uh, Zanfai's Whistle increases your base melee damage by 15%, and hand-to-hand -hand abilities 1%, so for 3 minutes. So this is, I'm going to say this is a burn, uh, we're going to put that there. Uh, you, uh, you might even just put it in your auto thing just to do it every time. Destructive Force is another burn. Uh, this ability, when activated, causes your primary slot weapons to hit all targets within a 40-foot radius, including your current target with an additional round for 42 seconds. This is a nice AoE kind of ability. Uh, opponents other than your primary target will be hit for 20%, 25% of standard damage. So Good to have there. Uh, Dragon Force, this ability will push your target back. So this is a positional utility spell, in my opinion. All right. Uh, Focus Destructive Force, uh, same as Destructive Force, but it only hits the one target for less time. So let's put that right there next to Destructive Force. Grappling Strike uh, pulls your target towards you. So it's another one of those uh, move the mountains kind of things. Imitate death. This is a perfect feign death. We're gonna put that on five. So if we, if this goes terribly wrong, we can uh, do that. And we get a uh, leap ability. Uh, where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put this on four. Silent strikes. We don't have it. Uh, Behemoth rage. Uh, increase your base melee damage by fifteen percent and raises the minimum base damage your attacks by 45 so this is another burn seven minute refresh 36 seconds so we're just gonna throw that right there so notice notice we have lots of burns we are a, we are a dps class uh i find monks can tank a little bit but uh it's not as pretty as you would like sometimes all right uh let's see what do we got in our bag here we got our energy source and food so we don't need to worry about any of that all right, so we're going to go to the action window here and going to go to the first one. So actually, before we do that, let's do auto skill. So we're going to auto skill uh, flying kick. Flying kick. There we go. And I'm going to go with tiger claw as my second one. So we can do both of those during combat. And I need Mend, and I need, uh, da, 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 where is it? I don't think I actually need any of these other ones. So we just need Mend. We're going to actually put Mend on four. Actually, we're going to put it on three. That on four, because I'm not going to use those. I don't, I don't use them very much, so all right. And just for demonstration purposes, we are going to put melee attack on one. Just so we know where it's at. All right. So didn't take as long to set up as uh, some of the other ones, but we should be good. All right. So we have a healer that should follow us here. She's in balance. We're going to move her to reactive. Uh, that'll make her probably do a little bit more work there. Uh, let's turn on the Bree Wall map here, and we're going to go to the same spot we do. Uh, I always go to the snakes. Uh, whatever it is, the spugs and snakes, they seem to be more reasonable. Uh, the only class that it probably wasn't reasonable to do that on was the Paladin. Uh, but uh, for the most part, this should be fine. And so we can kind of like uh, look around here. Let's we'll see here. Blink for it kind of shoots us forward a little bit. All right, so we should be able to just come down here. That's not a named, is it? Oh, okay. Can't tell if there's more than one. All right, so this is a relatively weak mob. We're going to do this one first. 
I'm going to use a distant strike to pull him in. And we're just going to kind of use all our abilities here. Uh, there's, I think, one or two abilities. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm missing something, but uh, I think for demonstration purposes, I think we're fine. Let me look right quick. Because uh, there's a, like, drunken, drunken, uh, drunken monkey style is a negative one. And we should be using that at all times, so. All right, let's grab this one here. There we go. So we're going to do one, seven. There we go. Kind of see where, uh, you know, we're taking damage, right? But uh, it's not that bad. I'm And I'm, I'm not using any disciplines right now just to, to kind of show that, you know, what our baseline is. And... I'm probably missing a spammable or something, right? Like I'm, I'm cursory going through this. Uh, if you're really looking for like a, a monk uh, guide on from like from start to finish, I would watch my Tawani series because in that I go through like everything there. So, so let's uh, let's use reflex. So this will make us a little bit more defensive. Notice how it's down here and it has a little progress bar now. So this will make us a little bit more defensive uh, just for the fight of this. And uh, shouldn't be too much issue after that. All right. Easy. And if you switch from flying kick to like round kick and uh, normal kick, those all have different abilities that they do. I think... Uh, one of them will snare, one of them will stun, so it it's beneficial to kind of know that stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so I didn't add the lull on here, so let me see if I can find it real quick. Echo. The show, oh, maybe the the lull doesn't go beyond where, where I'm at with Tawani right now. Echo. Yeah, I don't see it. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, Dreamwalker Synergy? No. And yeah, maybe you have to go buy it, so. Okay, what we'll do is we'll uh, mez the guy in the back over there. We're going to pull this one. And this is a relatively weak mob, so it should die pretty quick. Drunken monkey, and you can see we're not having too much issue here, right? Uh, this is this is a very strong class, uh, especially with a healer mercenary. They're you know fun, pretty phenomenal. Uh, you'll get into situations where it's just a little overly tedious, and you'll 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 see like if you watch the Maitawani series, where you know we get we get destroyed by some things, and it's you know it's kind of frustrating. I don't recommend soloing, uh, unless you're a necromancer. Most of the stuff, you should always have a group, but, uh, you know, it's however you want to play, though. There we go. And we'll kill one more big snake, and I think we've kind of shown the power of this class. So, let me do this. So, this is going to be a little bit tricky. So, we're going to set the mercenary on passive. Uh, actually, never mind. We're just gonna leave her on reactive. There's only there's no. I was gonna split something, but uh, I don't need to. All right, so let's use a uh, heal of Zengai here and focused destructive force, and that should be enough. Maybe infusion of thunder too. This thing should die extremely fast. You can see now, like. We look at damage here we're just like it's just like spamming numbers can't even comprehend how much damage we're doing there we go and you can see here we we're, we're taking damage right we're getting hit i don't have my uh my ui that i usually have but uh how are we getting how much are we getting hit for here Seven thousand. 
But the thing is with a monk, like you have a mend. Mend will heal you. And you have uh, just, you know, the baseline uh, kind of stuff. Plus the, uh, the mercenary here, right? <laughs> totally lost my train of thought. So, like, we can do Dragon Force, that'll knock the mob that way. So if you need to reposition something, you can use Dragon Force to do that. Here, let's do uh, Terror Palm. And... Uh, let's see here, Zanfai's Whistle. Let's do those. And you can get all these as a stacking. Like, I like to manually pick the ones I do. Like, if you watch my Tawani series, I I usually, I usually manually pick my disciplines on the monk when I'm playing. It, uh, just because I like to know what I'm doing and make it a little better. So, like, I don't even have to mend. <laughs> she's, she's doing such a good job healing me. So, yeah. But, uh, I think, I think that gives a pretty good overview of the monk, right? Um... Imitate Death is a Feign Death ability that'll pretty much wipe your aggro and let you, you know, fall you to the ground and everything stops attacking. Uh, and that's like a, I think it's like a 100% chance on that one. I've, I haven't really had it fail ever. There is the baseline ability Feign Death right here. So if we put this like on 8, right? It does the same thing. It's just, it has a higher chance of failing, right? And you have to sit or sit stand to get back up after you do that. But uh, here, let's put her on passive. I'll kind of show that real quick. So here's these two bugs, right? I got uh, two of them. They should be coming at me. If I hit eight, notice how they immediately stopped. If the mercenary is not on passive and you get hit, she might heal you and causing them to, uh, to do that. If we look at the extended targets, right, you can see that we have one on us. If I, st if I stand back up. Uh, but if I want to split these two, right, I use Echo, and then I can just right, grab one of them, right? Echo of, uh, Pervevic, Pervec, Pervevication, I think is what it says, I can't see it, uh, is a, it will mesmerize, which, if you remember the Enchanter one, I think I'm, I think I mentioned mesmerization, but if I didn't, uh, it is just like an ability that kind of stuns a mob until uh, a timer passes and then it uh, lets you uh, lets it back into the battle right just takes it out of <laughs> takes it out of the fight for a few minutes but yeah I think I didn't I don't think I really missed anything on this uh, if I did let me know but uh, like I, I feel like monks a really strong class. Oh, she's still on passive. Here, we'll mend. There we go. And we get 100% health back, right? Mend is, uh, what? what's the timer right now? Every 20 seconds to get a full, like, pretty much a full health <laughs> heal, right? It's it's insane. Uh, especially, like, if you're farming some lower level stuff. And you're actually taking damage. But definitely uh, a fun class to play. I enjoy it thoroughly. It's probably one of my favorite classes in the game. Uh, the monk is great. So... That is the heroic level 100 monk, uh, kind of getting started, going through some of the abilities. Uh, I probably didn't cover everything. Uh, best comment with uh, any tips I missed in the bottom. I'll uh, pin it and uh, can go from there. But uh, thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.